All right, the first thing you got to do is turn off the unit, and so that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to show you how to pull the filters out and uh, get ready to clean them. And now we got to come in and get these babies. And basically, you're just going to pop this open. You got to get a hold of it here on both sides and just kind of push it up like that. And it kind of holds. And then to get these out, you're going to push this up on both sides and uh, just it just pops out like that. Actually, it's like this. Let me show you. I screwed that up. Let me get it back in there. All right, so to, you got to make sure when you put it in, you got to have these there. But when you take it out, you're just going to push here. And it just pops and you just pull it out. And there it is. You can see it's pretty dirty. So we're going to bring it right over here. And just set it on the, on the ground right there. Now let's get the other one. And the same thing. To get it out, you just push up and it kind of pops right there. Yep. And you can see it kind of, we need to like maybe do a little cleaning in there. You can see it looks dirty, so we'll do that too. And these are really dirty, so we got to clean these out. So we get efficient airflow. Really down in here, it's good. All right. So now, let's just take a look at the difference between these two. So that you can see so here's the here's the one that we've cleaned here and here's the dirty one we still got to do that one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that one now I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do it but we're gonna go ahead and get that thing done turn off the vacuum cleaner so now we've got nice clean filters you could rinse them if you wanted to and wash them and let them dry but I think they're good right here I mean I don't think we really need to do too much more to them but put them back in there um, if you wanted to put them in the sink and wash them out, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. But I think we got most of the dirt out. So we could take them outside and squirt them. Let's do that. Now we just got to let these dry. All right, and there's the old fashioned method. <laughs> you can just use a towel and uh, dry them off. Just like that. You can see it just put, sucking it right out. This does it much. Pulls all the moisture right out. It's funny. That's interesting. So this one's about ready to go back in. I get a little bit of moisture there. When I press against it, the moisture just comes right out. It's very interesting. All right, so th what's cool about these is you don't have to buy new ones. Bam, you got them right here. You just reuse them over and over again. I mean, if you're really lazy, you could buy new ones. <laughs> You know, but that would be kind of dumb, wouldn't it? Especially since these are, you know, totally re reusable. And easy to, easy to clean. And you don't want to do this like every couple months because what it does is it, it's going to give you better airflow and lower electric bill. I mean, that's the key, man. You want to have a low electric bill, you want to have good airflow, and uh, that way you keep yourself healthy, wealthy, and schwise. All right, so these bad boys look super clean now. Look at them. Well done. Just like brand new, just like when I first got them. Right there. Bam. Done. Now we got to put them back in the unit. <laughs> so let's go do that right now. Okay, so we've got to get our filters right here back inside of uh, the, this, these two areas right here where we pulled them out. Notice how it's bent. So this is the way it's going to go in, and this is the end, this is the end that's going to be facing you. So it just kind of slides up like that. So anyway, notice how it's got a little bend in it? That's because it's curved up there, and it kind of just slides up in there. 
And you'll see how it's nice and thin here. There's a little lip right there where it catches once it gets up there. And then down here, the same thing. So what we've got to do, basically, is we just got to feed it right here. You're going to notice on both sides, you see this area here. And over here, you've got two little, like, phalanges that stick out. And they kind of catch it and they guide it. And so you just kind of push it up. It goes all the way. And then you're just going to pop these in here, just like that. And now that one's in there. Now the difference over here is you've got this little tube deal. So we've got to be aware of that when we push it in there. Look how nice and clean that is. All right, so let's grab that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead. We've got to get it started up here first. So you see, I got my hand here. And I'm kind of guiding it under right there. And then I'm going to come down. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a push. Now we're good over here. And we're good, we're under there. So we come back, slide it up, just pop it in like that. And that's ready to go. Now, this cover is kind of scary because you're pulling on it, right? And it feels like you're gonna break it, but you're not gonna break it. You gotta give it a good push to get it to come down. So you gotta get it, bam, like that. And it comes right down and sets on there. So that's how that works. It's a little scary, but <laughs> right here, let's go ahead and turn her on. Here we go, you ready? Bam, ready to go. All right, now we got a nice clean air handler and compressor. Well, it's not completely clean, but it's cleaner than better. Better than nothing, right? All right, so that's your Pioneer Mini Split, and that's how you do it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff. Peace out.